We are back in the kitchen with Rainya Harris. And just in time, dun da da. There it is. How Cooking do you like that? It looks gorgeous. Morning. So when mm -hmm. we last left you, we were putting on that second layer, another right. layer of eggplant. Now this is super hot. Some mozzarella on top, right, Parmesan right, right, cheese, right, right. more and marinara. John so said, I gotta taste something. It's really hot. Yeah. Do you be careful. I will. So would you mind bringing me over your? Do you want this big plate? This big old plate. Okay. Look at that. Oh, delicious. Ooh, look at that mozzarella. Oh, I love it. How's that, folks? It's I cannot delicious. wait to try this. Mm. Now, Ringa, the next thing that you're making mm. is something that I've never heard of before. Mm. What is it? Mm. A this is eggplant caponata. And what is that? Oh, my God. Eggplant all over me. How's that different <laughs> than this? Well, you'll see in a minute. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Really hot. You it's try so it hot. Blow on it, John, so that it can just, you know, I don't want you to burn your tongue, and then you won't be able to talk the rest of the day. <laughs> Actually, the air conditioning is blowing pretty hard this morning. We the air conditioning is blowing air. so hard. I it know. Is. I know. I was saying that. Okay, so, so we got here, some olive oil so going. I a little olive oil in the pan. This is so easy that I'm, I'm going to have mm. to start find stories to tell you. Rain is delicious. Isn't that? So now oh, yeah. you know why eggplant's so good. Now Heather's going to have to try I that. I am. I'm waiting. You you get that cooled down for me and then I'm digging it. All right. In. All right. So here's what this is. I just took an eggplant, kept the skin on, mm -hmm. by the way. Diced didn't it. salt it. Didn't have to do any of that. And I diced it. And the way I diced it was I simply took the eggplant, took off the ends, and then I sliced it lengthwise. But that first piece that had all the skin on, I didn't use. I didn't yeah. want it all. And the same over here. And I would say that my slices were about half of an inch, or uh, between a quarter and a half, but a little more than a quarter, not okay. quite a half. And then I simply went down and I cut them into cubes, okay? So now what you do Careful. is you take the eggplant, <laughs> And you put it in the oil. Delicious, and I will, Do you like it? It's it's sort of a lasagna without yeah. the noodles, kind of. Love it. So nice. what you do here is over fairly high heat, and I want to tell you that eggplant absorbs the olive oil, yes. sort of like a sponge. Right. So you probably, when you want to saute this, <laughs> you are probably want to take a little more olive oil. In addition to what was at the bottom of the pan. You want to make sure it's all coated? Yes. Okay. And what you'll do is, and, and you know, I, I, I hope that people will bear with me and understand that this takes about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. So, and then what I like to do is I like to add a little salt to this. And I like to add a little pepper. This is called eggplant caponata. And I'm going to tell you something. In my refrigerator at home, I swear to you this is true. I have a bowl of this. Always. Because I love it. And I love it. This I love really it. Good. Mm -hmm. And I know I, I love having these types of things in the refrigerator to go home and munch on yeah. instead well, you, of something. What do you mean? You munch on it right out of the bowl? Or how, well, what do you, how do you serve it? Well, you're going to find out in just a second. Okay. So you go ahead. You've got to pretend that this is done. And then what you do is you add in onions, mm -hmm. okay? This is sort of a, a condiment, John. It's not a main dish. It's something that you would serve um, with a little cracker, some French bread. Like we're doing it with a crostini. It's like a, a mm -hmm. noshy kind of a thing. Uh-huh. Okay? And then here we have some tomato, tomato paste. And you just keep adding these things. What does noshy mean? It's munchies. <laughs> the, little, the little munchies. These were Kalamata olives, and here I have, these are just tomatoes, crushed tomatoes straight out of the, the can, mm -hmm. juice is, and all. This is like a take on bruschetta almost. It it, like. Only with eggplant. Yeah. Exactly. See, and then you add this, and now you have a little bit of red wine vinegar, and you can add more red wine vinegar to taste. The, I like mine to have a little bit of a bite, so I'll add a little bit more to mm -hmm. it. And capers. then I add some capers. Yeah, I like those things. And then I have some walnuts. <laughs> a little salty. And then these are golden raisins that I soaked with a little bit of red wine to sort of soften them. Oh, that okay. sounds interesting. So you just let this cook on top of the stove for about 20 minutes or so. And you want to keep it on a low flame. And here's what it looks like when it comes out. Look how yummy that looks. Oh, man, and that look looks at my great. little eggplant bowl. Where did you find this? I found, so I don't remember. I've had them for years. And we put you them. You put some on top of oh. your crostini. Okay, let's give this a try. Here, John, I'll serve you one. Thank you. 
And basically, that's campanata. And because it Thank has you. vinegar in it, and as I said, you might want to add more vinegar to Cheers. this. Um, it keeps in the refrigerator for quite mm -hmm. some time. Yeah. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love it. I have this. Oh, right I have my marinade roasted artichokes. I keep this in the fridge for Steve. I'll put this out with some cheese. It's the way to go, why folks. People, why don't you keep them in the fridge for John for a change? <laughs> well, you need to come on over. I will. All that right. That is delicious. Well, for, Thanks, love. for a copy of mm. today's recipes and other garden fresh dishes Rainy has created here on the show, you can go to kdka.com slash PTL. I want this in my fridge every single day. Oh, man, that is so good. We have everything posted for Ooh. you online.